just really nice to, to see how amateur films are being taken seriously, that they're now becoming interests of academic studies, and, well, it's about time. <laughs> I feel like it gives you a really good lens, so to speak, into the way life was lived. Although, obviously, if you're talking aesthetics and you're talking about the way people shoot home movies and all, it's very often the idealized. Amateur film offered the opportunity to people to film their families, their travel. Actually, you know an interesting one? Have you ever seen The Women? It's, it's a wonderful film. And at one point, Norma Shearer character comes home from a trip and she shows her daughter the home movies and they're sitting in their living room watching the home movies. We still are, I think, at the beginning of being able to read amateur films and home movies as well. We don't really know fully how to ask all the questions and how to look at the information, although there is, is work being done. The multiple subjects that occur very often in home movies is holidays, birthday parties, lots of waving, children playing outside. You get these ranges of um, family dynamics that are shown through home movies. So you come across treasures as you're going through things and sometimes you're looking at just really boring stuff. Home movie making really exploded with 16 millimeter. In terms of the evolution of this, when you go to 16, then you've cut the size of the stock, you've cut the size of the equipment, the projector and the camera, so that immediately becomes less expensive. Unfortunately, the cost of amateur filmmaking kept it out of people who are underrepresented in the public record. So they were always playing with stocks to make the process more affordable to more people. And of course then when video came in, it just like kind of exploded. The ritual would be part of like setting up the projector, setting up the screen, setting up the, the chairs. And then because it's not, um, because these films were silent, these were very interactive experiences. What Northeast Historic Film has done is they've taken digital files of 16 millimeter film and they're cutting into short little clips and putting it up on Instagram. And I'm finding this really fascinating. I love this. If this is what we need to draw people in to the, I don't know, to the content, to look at our world, not just as it was, but as we've evolved, to understand that we come from somewhere, that we just didn't suddenly plop down in the middle of this new technology, which is only going to continue to change. It's, it's really about connecting to where we came from, which is, to my mind, completely relevant to where we're going and who we are as human beings.